Well, good day, tubes. Well, good evening, tubes, I guess. And uh, we're looking at some Princess Auto while we're just up here at the beach. I think I mentioned that today. Um, wait for the sun to go down. We should have a fairly decent show. Yeah, no clouds in the sight. Heck, are you tying all these knots for now? Oh, I don't know. Man, tying knots and tying more knots. So, yeah, just looking at the Princess Auto here. Kill a bit of time. If you look on the Weather Network app there, it tells you what time the sunset actually is. So I kind of know what time, but... I'm going to head her down in a few, down to the water's edge here. We'll have a look around. Looks like a little bit of wavies coming in. Not much, though. Not too bad. I remember being here once when I was a kid, and holy man, 10-foot waves coming in. It was awesome. But I uh, haven't seen that since. So, But anyways, uh, a bunch of seagulls down there. There's these people over here just left, packed up and left over there. So they probably just down there scouring whatever they left, they left on the ground for them. Crumbs and stuff, so... And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a look at the catalog and uh, head her down in a sec here. Well, no doubt there'll be some wind noise here because it's windy. It's at the beach, so much expected. I'll try to protect it as much as I can. I'll put my hand in front, maybe that might be better. And we'll head her down to the old beach. I have no idea how this grassy stuff survives here. This is like so bone dry, but I guess maybe it's rooted down like a couple of feet, maybe. It gets water down there, I guess. It doesn't dry out so fast. But uh, really nice sand here. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a closey up here, hopefully. There you go. Years and years of people pooping on the beach. I think it was what it is, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, the waves are waves are up a little bit today. The surf, the surf as they call it. So hopefully the microphone is getting a bit damperish here. It's funny how it was wetter down here, but I guess we are getting closer to the water. There's a fenced off area down here. Billy just walked down there. It says, no trespassing, um, rare bird nesting. It's like, really? Wow, okay, <laughs> whatever. But anyways, uh, let's get down here and see what's, what's happening, what's happening. So the other day, when Iron Man and I were up too, actually, I'll see if I can zoom a bit on this. I'm just on the iPhone here. All that stuff right there, right there, is that beach area one where we stopped at and he was trying to kiss me again. And those two old people were like smooching. It was pretty nasty. But anyways. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Somebody lost a shoe. They actually have, uh, well, maybe not down here so much, but the main beach areas and stuff, they have... Uh, groomers and stuff that go out and grab all the crap and stuff and it's you know nice and clean again for the morning never seen them do that but uh i know they do they got a dragger thing what the heck does this say birdie has something r.i.p died okay <laughs> right on so, we are at Georgian Bay here on the water's edge. And it's definitely not the ocean, but this is the longest freshwater beach in the world. Nine, ten mile or something, I think it is, all the way from, pretty much we're at the end of it here. And all the way down through here, it actually goes up around the shore, way around, over, and stops about there. And then way over there, I'm going to try to zoom. I don't know if this is going to have the power. Uh, no, I can't see it. There's, well, faintly see it. There's a green silo over there. Someday we'll do a little more so I can write you for the other channel. And, uh, yeah, so if I brought my bathing suit, I might have gone in. But, no, nah, we're here for sunset today. So, but anyways, let's see. What are you up to? Drawing lines in the sand. What are you doing? I made it so I don't get lost so you can find me. 
Oh, okay, just keep following the lines. I won't lose them then. Apparently, that's funny. I, I might get lost for a while. Did you do all those down there too? Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, that's hilarious. Lines all up here. Lines all up there. <laughs> He's a. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Draw a picture. Oh, someone drew a picture. Someone drew a maze. That's not real. Here, Dilly. Come here for a sec. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna win. Hmm. I won. What? Oh. <laughs> trick you on the old trick, pull this trick in the book. <laughs> oh, I'm such a cheater. <laughs> Told you I'd win. I'm gonna freaking ace at that game. Oh, but anyways, that's <laughs> another, another, another story. Well, let's head up here and uh, see what is this floating here. There's some kind of floating stuff up here on the right. And uh, I'm really glad we've got this beach here not too far away because like we were out east there and stuff on vacation. Man, that was like the best thing is walking along the beach like this, you know. And ocean beach, not fresh water. Ocean water is no smell like it. Look at this nice little ridge that's built here. It's actually like a ridge. A ridge to Down here, it's back to normal. Oh, he's going in! <laughs> it's going in. Yeah. Oh, last time we were up at the beach here, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's these buoy things out there and then all the way along. I can't see anymore in that camera here, but there's a buoy there. We brought the, uh, we brought the uh, rubber dinghy out. I didn't have paddles, so I just used my arms and laid down on it and paddled out and hooked myself to that for about 10 minutes. That was cool. So, oh, what do I got here? Oh, that's a rare piece of asphalt. Better get that, that's an asphalt shark tooth, Dilly. Asphalt shark tooth. Get it quick, 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 look out! Okay, now go. Oh, you could have got him. Oh, you gotta be quick. Razor fast. Get him, pull him down, Dilly. <laughs> Show us that rare asphalt shark tooth. Oh, rare asphalt shark tooth. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's like three quarter inch thick, rare. That's worth like thousands of dollars. Thousands of doll hairs. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look Better at the, the other side. Look at the nice speckles on that side, eh? Oh, I wonder if we could sweet. skip it. No, that's worth thousands of doll hairs. Sure. It is. Everybody loves your new hair, Dilly. Show us your front. Oh boy, how drunk did you get? Oh, now someone's gonna yeah. step on that and hurt her, hurt her foot. Anyways, uh, I just wanna run, run up here and see what this was. It looks like just a piece of, a piece of uh, tree wood or something, tree wood. Oh, look, somebody else was playing. Who won? Oh, oh, can't tell down here so much. Look, somebody else played, Dilly. Huh? XO, yeah, there's, XO. There's a huge <laughs> Oh, jeez. It'll all get washed away again. So, how'd that feel? <laughs> Ran into that stick. Oh, yeah, that's a cedar branch. Sitting there getting washed. Nice and clean, anyway. It's how shiny clean the leaves are on it. Oh, boy. Sweet. But anyways. The one thing that the beach is lacking here is some of the rocks and stuff that you can flip over and find the... Uh, the crabs and stuff under it and the starfish and oh 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 another one oh another one another one <laughs> oh boy yeah like this rock up here did you nice job this uh look at the difference i guess in the different waves as they've come up today now it's sort of calmed down and gone back like the tide's gone out but there's no tide here this is the one solid height all the time 
Oh, you're gonna plow some sand for us? Ready? Come on, go. And he's gonna get that spear to something and just go over that thing like a pole vault. Anyways, yeah, normally you can flip over rocks like this. Of course, I can't with one hand. That's actually a nice square rock. Can you flip them? It's kind of stuck. Urgh. Might be suctioned right down. Oh, you moved them. Oh, I think it's stuck right in there. Try your stick, maybe. Put your oh, stick in there. My stick. Put your stick in and then use my foot as a prior do, Dewey. And then try to pry it up. But I don't want to break my stick. You won't break your stick. You got lots of stick there. See if we can see if there's any crabs under there. Not likely. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're going to get wet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. See, the leverage worked. Enough to get under it. Oh. That's like a really nice square heavy rock. <laughs> wow. Probably paid a lot of money that in the uh, rock store. But anyways, we're still waiting for sunset. we got a little bit yet to go and uh, well, probably another 45 minutes maybe. I don't know. I'll check the weather doing here. Well, we just got kicked out of the park, if you can believe that, by park wardens, freaking knobs. But anyways, they're just doing their job, I understand, but there is no way I'm paying $14 for a day pass for like a half an hour of sitting here. I said that to them, I'm like, so you want me to pay like $14 while the thing's at the front? Well, yeah, but I'm not paying $14 to freaking just sit here and watch the sun go down. I'm like, piss off, I said to her. Oh, I didn't say that, but I'm like, really? And the guy pipes up, well, there's a two-hour. I'm like, forget it. We'll just leave. Holy crap. I'll find somewhere else along here to sit in the car. Like, what a bunch of freaking knobs. I understand they're doing their job and stuff. That's, that's all good and fine, but you don't need to hassle someone for like a half an hour. Well, you gotta buy the two pot two hour minimum. Yeah, here's your two hour minimum, bud. But anyways, gathering up the kids, we'll go somewhere else, I guess. Well, we moved <laughs> to another lot that we're not gonna pay for either, because heck with that. But we're gonna stay in the car this time. <laughs> stay in the car too. I <laughs> yeah, what do I need to go down this beach for? This is all full of used condoms and stuff down here. It's disgusting. But anyways. <laughs> we're waiting for the sun to go down a little bit here and uh, should probably end up about that somewhere there maybe I don't know the angle where it's going down I'm not too sure but we shall see in a few okay so the thingy on the weather network says 855 for sunset and uh, well, we got a little bit of time yet I guess I'd get out and look at some of the shops along the main town but I'd probably get a ticket I'm not paying like 15 bucks to sit here for another 50 minutes just to watch the sun go down that's just ridiculous that was like two o'clock maybe yeah okay but no this is we'll just sit here and wait pretty good spot pretty much front row seat anyways we'll wait look at this knob down here drawn lines in the sand again found a huge tree i can't zoom in any more than that but anyways turn around and draw some more lines should have brought my other camera up. Oh well. So, sun update. We're getting down a little more now. Another, oh crap, what time is it? 8.13, so another little bit yet anyways. But, um, just looking through the blue thing here on the window, it was not showing up quite as nice in this as it does on the naked eye. But anyways, sweet. She's coming down, boys. She's coming down fast. Well, what time we got now here? 8.23, and she's coming down pretty good now. Can't just get her nice on these uh, super nice, vibrantly bright orange right now, and I just can't get a good shot with this stupid iPhone thing. But anyways, give you a rough idea. I should have brought my better camera, I guess, but I uh, thought I'd sneak away with just this guy. But anyways, a few more minutes. She'll be going around the mountain before she comes. <laughs> Well, it's 8.29, but I don't know. I think we're going to be in trouble here in a minute. The uh, haze of the sun is going around the mountain. It's going around the mountain. I don't know. It's 
not looking super too bright now. I think we might be in trouble here in a minute. We might have an early sunset, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. It's not looking too really good though. But I'm pretty much right. I think it's gonna go right right where that pole is. And uh, set right about there somewhere. So anyways, we'll check back in another 10 maybe. Well, it's only 8.34. <laughs> it's not that much later than the last one, but uh, actually the, the camera's picking up better than I can see it. That's a naked eye, surprisingly. But it uh, looks to me like the whole bottom side's pretty well gone. That's weird. But anyways, it's still light anyways, light out. You know, I can still see down to the water and stuff, but we'll, we'll wait until she's right gone, I guess. Well, unfortunately, it is pretty much gone. <laughs> I can't see it through the haze. But, uh, whoa, almost dropped you. Yeah, I can't even hardly see it at all with my naked eye, but somehow with the camera, I can see a little better right there. So, anyways, I guess she's, uh, wait until she gets dark, and that's about it. Well, there we are, 8.54, almost 8.55. That's what the time they said. The sun was set, setting at, even though it's still a little bright out, but it's pretty much getting darkish now. So uh, I had my cool app on there because I can't see the sun. You know, normally if it was clear, you'd see it across the water and then disappear, right? Um, I couldn't see that, of course, because of the haze and crap. So I had my uh, Star Search program app going here, and you could actually see uh, where it was on the horizon. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And... Uh, I, I was trying to record it, but it only take a picture, so that kind of sucks. I guess I could throw a picture in. Hang on a sec here. So that was the picture. You can see the little orange ball there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's an artificial sun when you can't see her. I guess you can still see her kind of thing. So I kind of wish I could have recorded that because you could almost see it go down as it's actually updating. But anyways... Pardon my French, I guess that's that. We'll maybe wait another 10 minutes or so, see how dark she gets here. There'll probably be a lot of lights come on, and it'll probably be, you know, it's like sun again. But anyways, uh, she's pretty well pretty well done. 8.56 now. There's one minute over sunset now, so sweet. Well, the seagulls are saying it's time to go find our nest. We're out of here. She's 9.09. I guess we'll head her out. Still a bit bright, but... Ah, we better head home. We got like an hour's drive home, so pretty much everything's got the lights on now, so the uh, <clears throat> lights are taking over for the night time. Yeah, the seagulls are like, yep, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Here comes some more. You can see them. Sort of, kind of. And they're like, let's get out of here. So we'll do the same. We'll head home.